Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial series where I'm going to be teaching you the basics of SketchUp and how to create many cool buildings and whatever kind of cool structures you want like things like they show you in these pictures. So when you first open up SketchUp it'll look like this and I'm already going to just assume that you have it downloaded and what you need to do is you need to choose a template so go to template over here and I'm just going to do it in feet and inches for the simple template it's just the first one over here so I'm just going to click that to make sure I'm using it and just do start using SketchUp and it should open up SketchUp right here and what you'll see is this and just click ignore it, it does not matter right now and you'll see this little dude and this whole thing right here so how to move around is fairly basic especially if you used many other 3D programs to orbit around use the middle mouse button so as you can see I'm just moving around like that and um, to pan around you just hold down shift and the middle mouse button and you can pan around so as you can see combining these tools I'm able to move around and do lots of cool things and you can also zoom in zooming in forward you know makes you zoom in forward and zooming in backwards makes you zoom in backwards so let's say I want to get closer to this guy's face I can just use the pan tools orbit around and bam alright so <clears throat> so now let's get started in making a simple shed. Okay. Alright, now one thing I forgot to say as well, to get these things right here that I have on top that are very useful for when you're doing beginning things, um, to get those go to View and then Toolbars and make sure you have Getting Started selected which will show you this very very helpful stuff whenever you select the tool. It will tell you how to use it and what it is used for a large tool set which is for example on the left um, right here you see all these things right here um, that allows me to select tools way easier than knowing all the complicated hotkeys so another thing you want down here is views you want that selected that shows you these things which are presets for like a front view a right view you know back view this is a top view and perspective all right um, so I'm just going to close that and we're going to get started with making our shed. Alright, so the first tool you're going to want to use is this pencil tool right here. And what this does is you can just draw endpoints or vertices as they're called in many other 3D programs. And if I click right here, you can see we'll start making a line. And you can just click around and create a simple polygon just like this and just press ESC or escape on your keyboard to stop and I have this crazy looking shape that looks really weird so let's just control Z to undo all of those shenanigans and let's create something new so I'm just gonna click a random point right here and I'm gonna hold down shift to make sure I have a straight line as you can see um, on the red axis that's why it is red um, and see for example if I were to make a green one it would be green and same for blue if I can get that that's going up as you can see okay so let's just create a point right there and I'm gonna hold down shift and something very useful when you're doing SketchUp which is basically one of the big things about it is that you can make things with exact lengths um, and measurements to real life so like inches or metric system I'm gonna be using the um, uh, imperial system because that's just what I know how to use and you see in the bottom right right here it says length and then it says these um, numbers right here those are your coordinates and measurements so for example with that point already selected and you don't want to hold down and make things otherwise that makes things all weird um, I'm just going to make sure that I'm holding down shift as you can see to make sure I'm on a red line or just is a red outline right there and I'm just gonna type in uh, how about like 10 and as you can see the thing in the bottom right changes and I also want to add that little thing right there so that um, it does it in feet and not inches otherwise feet would be that small and um, or I mean inches would be that small and feet would be this big which is what we want okay so let's create another one um, don't want to do it on the blue one you want to do it on the red line or the green one not the blue one um, and I'm just gonna type in 10 for that one as well and let's see um, I want 10 for this one as well 
I'm just going to press enter after all of these and then we I can just click right there for endpoint and we have a face right here we can click on here so we're not drawing any more lines accidentally by clicking around and as you can see we have our floor of our shed um, but let's say we want to make this you know not just a floor and want to make this a bit more of a building what we can do is we can go to right here which is the push pull which is basically like in other 3d programs again like extruding things up and I can show what that means by just selecting this face right here with this tool and we can just drag up and as you can see we have created a block that has exact measurements of 10 feet on all measurements so it's a perfect square and I'm going to make this 10 feet tall so I'm just going to type in 10 and then that symbol and press enter and as you can see we have that and by the way if I were to do things like this I want to make sure that um, uh, I'm not holding down while typing because that would make it all messed up and it would not work properly as you can see and we just want this to be exactly 10 so I'm just going to control Z and um, we have this so let's say we want to make sure this is exactly 10 we can uh, measure this using our, the tape measure tool which is right here and let's say we want to know exactly the length between this top and the bottom one to make sure our measurements are exact because when you're building things you need things to be exact so I'm just gonna click right there I'm just gonna drag down and as you can see very small but it still says it it is 10 feet tall and we could even do another measurement so I'm just gonna hit escape to stop doing that let's see make sure this is 10 across and there we go 10 feet across okay so now we can start adding a roof part just very simple it'll get um, more detailed soon but for now we're just gonna make a pretty simple one okay so I'm just going to rotate around here a bit. Remember the middle mouse button is what you used to rotate around. And I'm actually going to go into my front view. So I'm going to go right here and click front. That way I can easily see my front. All right, so let's make sure we have our draw tool selected or drawing lines. And I'm just going to find the midpoint right here, which it should snap to. As you can see, the midpoint. And I'm just going to raise that up a little bit. Remember, it's on that blue line to make sure it's a perfectly straight line. And I'm just going to type in five feet and press, press enter so we have that. I'm going to select the top end point right there and we can just drag that down to the very end point there. Just press enter and or just unclick and you can see we have part of that but now we want the other side so I'm going to click on that top again and then I'm going to click on that end point and we have this face but if we were to extrude this out a little bit or pull it, um, I'm just going to go to my pull tool we're dragging them all individually and that's not what we want we want to make drag them both so how we can delete this line in the middle is we can go to there's actually two ways we can go back to our select tool and we can just click on any of these lines and we can just hit delete but a faster way and way more efficient way is to use the erase tool which is right here at the top and you can just select that and you can easily just click on that to delete it and it's very simple you can just drag select all of those and just delete those and delete a lot of things do control Z to go back if you missed something but yeah just delete that vertex which is connected all those faces so it gets rid of all of those but anyways now we have just a singular face here so if I were to go back to my pool tool right here and select that you can see that when I drag it out um, it is just dragging out the entire thing and not just one half of it and as you can see things are a little like blue ish right now and kind of weird um, you can fix that by holding down control and as you can see it fixes that and when the faces are white like they are right now um, that's because um, it's showing the front of the faces and without that if I go back the um, the blue basically means that's the back of the face for example this is you know the front and that's the back and when we were doing that before we were extruding it with the blue showing which means those were the back faces and you don't want that because it'll mess up textures so we can just easily snap this it might be easier if you zoom in a little we can just snap that to the end right there and if I zoom out a little bit we have this lovely thing right here but we have back face right there we don't want that so I'm just gonna go back to my select tool I'm gonna click on there I'm gonna right click and do reverse faces and now as you can see um, we have our very basic part of the shed that we're making and it looks pretty good 
and in the next episode we're going to start adding a, a door and doing a lot more things with more measurements and making things exact and we'll start adding some more interesting parts to this shed right here but you should have learned how to move around remember that to pan around is shift the middle mouse button to orbit around is just the middle mouse button or O actually um, and the um, zoom is just with the scroll wheels you can see just like that so thank you for watching and please subscribe